Hi, I'm Kelly McFarland. I am a farmer in far north Texas, and I'm also an applied anthropologist and a food activist. I am recording this video for the Earth Day videos uh, virtual series that they are doing for the UT Sustainability uh, Earth Day Fest. And so um, I'm recording a couple different videos of the things that we do on our farm. Um, I am right now in my daughter's room recording because my children are home from school, but I've taken a lot of pictures out on the farm that I'll be doing a voiceover for. And so now I'm going to talk about um, raising livestock and kind of the whole farm idea. Um, what we have on our farm is a mixed methods farm. And we're trying to stay as true to that as possible by moving resources around the farm and keeping resources on the farm. So we grow um, a lot of the things that we grow that we don't use, like um, sweet potato vines and things like that. They are fed to our animals. Um, we seed our land with native grasses and with forage for our animals so that our land will grow what they need so that we will not have to grain feed as much. We do grain feed. Um, it, it's a very big conversation around grain if you, if you know a farmer. Um, we would like to be purely grass-fed, but if you start with animals that are grain-fed because of how the rumen works, it's very hard to work from that to not grain feed. And we haven't gotten there yet. And not only that, but our land is not growing all of the things that we need it to be growing to supply adequate nutrition to our animals. And so that's why we are seeding our land with native grasses and forage. And so that's just kind of like one element of what it takes um, to create a sustainable farm. But also um, you also with animals and things like that, you have to heavily manage them. And so that's, I don't know if you've ever heard of regenerative farming but regenerative farming works with sustainability. So sustainability is using your own resources and not looking for outside resources to supplement. Regenerative is creating a model that creates something better. And so what they've, there's been a lot of research recently into regenerative uh, grazing techniques. And so that is creating land that has all of the nutrients that you need so it's sustainable and then you graze your animals in a pattern where you're heavily grazing them in a small area and then moving them sometimes daily and what that does is it adds quite a bit of biomass in uh, the form of animal uh, you know the manure and uh, the animals eat down the grass in a way that's actually better than mowing it because an animal biting seals off the blades of grass better than a mowing um, and then you move them to another pasture and you allow that land to regenerate. And there's, it's, there's just all this research right now going on and how this is actually helping to trap more carbon, which is great for the environment, right? So um, we are trying to get there, but a lot of farming is understanding that you have to build infrastructure and you have to build like this whole world model. It's not just one thing, we're not just, able to do this one thing. We have to build our entire farm to support it. And so um, it takes a lot of building of fencing, which is not very fun. It takes a lot of um, active management of your animals and interacting with your animals, uh, looking at your stocking levels and making sure you don't have too many animals. In a lot of the regenerative farms, they're doing what we want to work towards, which is uh, they graze different animals in a pattern that creates better uh, regeneration. 
And so they'll do um, cows followed by chickens, followed by goats, followed by pigs in this pattern to where the way that they graze creates better biomass. And so all of these things are um, what we want to work towards on our farm, but every little step we take is a step to get there.